<laughs> Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this isn't just Ravens flock. Steelers Nation, Browns Nation, this is an emergency state of the AFC North address. I need everybody to come in. Ravens flock, pull up real quick. I need the dog pound in here. I need Steeler Nation in here. Cincinnati, hold on. I don't think you want to come in here right now. I don't think you want to step foot in here. Because we have to have a serious conversation about you guys. What a week of football, man. The Pittsburgh Steelers continue to showcase why playing competent football will always win games in the National Football League. They're doing their thing. 3-0. Got the job done against the Chargers. Shout out to you. Baltimore had a 22-point lead. Nearly choked it against the Cowboys, but held on just because Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson, and he wasn't going to let us lose that game. They got the win. Cool. Got yourself on the win column. Cleveland, you suffered an embarrassing loss to the Giants. That hurt. Deshaun Watson, I don't know what you're going to do, man. One game you're great. One game you're not so great. It's so conflicting right now with the Browns. That was an embarrassing loss. They were on the verge of being clowned. But everybody, let's put that aside for a second. Cleveland, you're off the hook. You are off the hook for that loss, man. Because what these guys just did, oh, ho, 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 what this guy and what this guy is dealing with right now is something special. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think this was going to happen. I did not think this was going to happen. You have a healthy Joe Burrow. A healthy Jamar Chase. T. Higgins is out there playing. The Bengals offense did not punt the ball once. They didn't turn the ball over either. Zero punts and zero turnovers for the Bengals offense. Joe Burrow had over 300 yards passing and three touchdowns. Jam J Jamar Chase, man, over 100 yards. Two receiving touchdowns. That's supposed to be a formula for a win. With your season potentially on the line. Because teams that go 0-3 usually don't make the playoffs. Since 1999, there's been one team that's made the playoffs after starting 0-3. So the odds were against you heavily if you lost this game. Prime time. Monday Night Football. In Cincinnati. The energy's there. The crowd is there. You know what's on the line. Against the Washington Commanders. Who have a rookie quarterback in Jaden Daniels. You let them come into your house and punk you. Jaden Daniels carved up your defense. Zero punts for the commander's offense. Zero turnovers for the commander's offense. 38 points of offense. You let this rookie come in there and cook you when you needed to win this game. 0-3 oh, for the Bengals. What a glorious day. <laughs> Woo, my God. Oh, my God, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. Steelers fans are cruising at the top at 3-0 because the rest of the division is a mess. Cleveland suffered a heartbreaking loss, but they can laugh at this. Baltimore got their first win of the season. They can laugh at this. The Bengals bungling at home on prime time. To go 0-3. Oh, my God. Their season is in trouble. They might not make the playoffs. They, not, they might not even win 10 games at this point. Because they got the Panthers next. I believe they should be able to win that. But what if Andy Dalton cooks his former team? And guess what? Week 5, Baltimore has a chance to potentially stick the dagger in the Bengals. Oh, my goodness. They deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. No fan base in the AFC North deserves this better than the Cincinnati Bengals fan base. Y'all got so arrogant. Y'all got so cocky. You got to the Super Bowl and you ran your mouth like you were that team. Where's the ring to prove it? At least with the Steelers, they haven't won a playoff game since 2016. They've got rings they can lean back on. The Ravens haven't won the Super Bowl in 12 years. And just lost in the AMC title game last year. They still have rings they can lean back on. Cincy, you run your mouth. 
like you're the Chiefs and you don't have any hardware to back it up? Where's the championship? You flaunt around that AFC championship game trophy, that trophy you get for advancing to the Super Bowl. You roll that around, you constantly showcase it. Congratulations on second place, by the way, because you lost that Super Bowl. You guys sit back and run your mouth. Your fan base is so perfect to your team because your squad cannot stop running their mouths. Jamar Chase cannot stop running his mouth. Y'all can't stop running your mouth. One of your players was over there talking some smack. Oh, Jaden Daniels, man, they don't do anything complicated for him. It's very simple for him. He's running a college offense, yada, yada, yada. Well, that college offense came into your building and dropped 38 points on your head. Well done, Cincy. This is a new level of pain. Oh, my God. Every single year, we're getting closer and closer to my prediction being true. I said as soon as they lost that Super Bowl, Joe Burrow may end up suffering the same fate that Dan Marino suffered. Get to the Super Bowl your second year. Potential's high. And then you fail to get back there. The chain's already started, man. Joe Burrow's dealt with multiple injuries that's knocked him out for a season. He's had multiple surgeries. He still looks good. But now all of a sudden, that defense that helped you get to the Super Bowl, in fact, low-key carried you to the Super Bowl, it's not the same. The Bengals' defense has been getting worse every single year since the Super Bowl. And y'all ignore it because we got Joe Burrow, we got Jamar Chase, we got T. Higgins. Burrow beat Mahomes to get to a Super Bowl. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. You're on three. You got the Panthers next week. If Andy Dalton gets a revenge game against y'all, we're going to be hysterical. And if Baltimore has the opportunity to put a dagger in your season, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. No other fan base in the AFC North deserves this more than y'all because y'all ran y'all mouths like y'all were that team. You talked like you were the Chiefs, and you don't have the rings to back it up. Your fan base likes to chirp and run their mouth. Your players like to chirp and run their mouth. Well, run your mouth about this. You're 0-3. Man, just take a look at this. Take a look at this background. You see this? No, let me move this way. You see this guy right here? You see this guy right here? You see how they're looking at each other? Oh, this partnership's not going to last long. Zach Taylor is on the verge of getting fired. He's this close to getting fired. He's not returning this season if they miss the playoffs. If they miss the playoffs, Zach Taylor is getting fired. The look on their faces... The way they're staring at each other, this relationship may be done. At the very least, it's on the brinks of being done. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I feel so happy right now. I feel so happy. Ravens flock. You nearly choked against the Cowboys, but you held on. You didn't pull a bang. You did not lose like these two did. Steeler Nation, you're handling your business. You're winning this division right now. And everybody else in the division can't get their act together. You're playing competent football. Keep doing that. You'll win a lot of games. Cleveland, the dog pound. You guys actually did have the most embarrassing loss of the season. You did. Losing to that Giants team was embarrassing. But it's all ignored because Cincinnati topped everybody this week. Joe Burrow could not save the Bengals tonight. Can you imagine? You're Joe Burrow. You're Jamar Chase. You're this Bengals offense. You put up 33 points of offense. You don't punt the ball once. You don't throw the ball over once. 33 points of offense at home. Knowing what was on the line. Still couldn't win the game. You let a rookie come into your building and drop 38 points on your head. Fantastic, man. I, I, I'm so joyous right now because they deserve this for how they run their mouth. And now it's panic time in Cincinnati. But don't worry. I'm sure they'll figure things out. You know, I'm, I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. You know, I'm sure everything's going to be fine, right? 
You got Joe Burrow. Everything's going to be fine. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. Y'all cool, right? Nothing's wrong. Okay. Y'all kept making excuses for how this team always starts so poorly in the season. Start no and two. There's Joe Burrow. He'll come back from that. Did you remember the Super Bowl year? They started 0-2 and, and got to the Super Bowl. We'll be fine. Make an excuse after excuse after excuse for playing poorly to start the season. Okay. Well, now you got a healthy Joe Burrow. You got a healthy Jamar Chase. T. Higgins returned and played in this game and played relatively well. And you lost a crucial game, and now you're 0-3. Good luck, Cincinnati. Best of luck to you, huh? I'm sure you'll figure it out. That being said, the state of the AFC North, man, still is up 3-0. Baltimore and Cleveland at 1-2, and, and the Cincinnati Bengals. 0-3. <laughs> wow, did not see that coming. With that being said, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to leave it like that. Good luck, Cincy. Good luck, Cincy. We'll see you in two weeks. That's all I got. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to stay safe and peace out.